Welcome back to a Skewed Reviews. Today we are doing a fan request from two fans, and we are doing the 2018 action adventure comedy horror sci-fi Velocipaster. Here is your trivia question for today. What do we as the audience see when Doug's parents' car blows up? The answer will be at the end of this video. Doug Jones is your mild-mannered everyday pastor until one day his parents are blown up in a car accident right in front of him. His mentor, Father Stewart, suggests that he go somewhere and clear his mind. So he decides to go on a long hike through China. While doing so, he stumbles upon a woman who is currently dying, and in her last dying breath, she hands off a tooth or a claw of some sort. A ninja then appears that has been chasing this woman. The ninja begins chasing Doug, and while doing so, Doug cuts his hand on this claw or tooth. Doug somehow makes his way back to the United States, but something has begun to change within him. He is no longer just a pastor. He begins to change into a velociraptor. Now, during Doug's first transformation, he kills a mugger, ends up saving the life of a hooker named Carol. Carol sees the good in Doug and ends up talking him into a mission, a mission where he uses his superpowers to kill all the evil that's out there. Now, going down this path will eventually lead both Doug and Carol to face off against Wei Chan and his Christian Ninja Academy. The way that the Velocipaster came about is director and writer Brendan Steer was originally sending a text message, and when it autocorrected the word Velociraptor, it came up as a separate Velosa and Pastor. He saw that together and decided that would make a great movie. He then created a grindhouse trailer for this fake movie and it ended up doing so well that he decided to make it into an actual film. Brennan Steer actually owned the costume for many years before the movie was even a concept. It actually came about from a high school play production, and it was never used, so he just kept it in his basement. In case you're wondering why the visual quality of the film looks like an older movie, number one, Brennan decided to put the actual film into the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. And the way that he got the scratches on the film is he would actually drag it across the floor of his bathroom. He did it in there because that was the only room where he could keep it dark. Did you happen to recognize this actor in the movie? Well, if you're into music, you might recognize Aurelio Voltaire. Fernando Pacheco de Castro was so excited to play a bad guy for this film that he created everything about the character. The name Frankie Mermaid, the fact that he was a pimp, he even bought his own costuming, and... He decided to shave the top of his head to make the character look creepier. The day that they filmed the big fight scene, the police were actually called. And the report actually states, There are ninjas and someone in a short, fat T-Rex costume running around the park. As of the recording of this episode, there is actually a Velocipaster 2 being worked on. Now, as for my opinion on the Velocipaster, it is definitely a ridiculously silly movie. But they knew that going into it, you could tell. Now, I would have probably given this movie a two, but just because of how much they knew that this was going to be ridiculous, I have to at least bump it up to a three out of five. Now, as for the trivia question from the beginning of this episode, what do we as the audience see when Doug's parents' car blows up? Instead of some big fiery explosion, it just has the words VFX car on fire, which absolutely wonderfully sets the tone for the rest of this film. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews. If there's a movie you'd like to see get a review, mention it in the comments. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe.